All right, so this problem says to let h of w equal 6 plus sine of w over 6 minus sine of w. And we want to determine the derivative of h of w, where we're using w as the variable. So first, we need to look at the overall structure of our function. This function is a quotient of a function of x on top and a function of x on bottom. So we need to use the quotient rule. So if we write the quotient rule, the derivative of f over g is equal to the derivative of the top times the bottom minus the derivative of the bottom times the top all over the bottom squared is our quotient rule formula. So let's first write out what is our f and our g. Our f is the top function, which would be 6 plus sine w. Our g is the bottom function, which is 6 minus sine of w. So now we need to take the derivative. So f prime, the derivative of 6 goes to 0. The derivative of sine is cosine. And for g prime, same idea here, the derivative of 6 goes to 0. We have a negative out front, so this one will be a negative cosine of w for our g prime. Okay, so plugging this into our formula, we get the derivative of h of w is equal to f prime is cosine of w. Oops times g is 6 minus sine of w and then minus g prime is negative cosine of w and then times f which is 6 plus sine of w and all of that is over g squared which is um, 6 minus sine of w squared. Okay, so let's see if we can simplify this at all. Let's distribute our cosine into each term to make 6 cosine of w minus cosine of w sine of w. And then from here, let's distribute our negative to this negative. Uh, negative, negative is a positive. So let's go ahead and simplify that a bit. So we'll have plus, now we have a 6 cosine of w. And then distributing it to the second term would be plus cosine of w sine w. And let's leave the denominator the same. 6 minus, that's a 6 there, minus sine of w squared. Okay, let's look and see if we can combine any terms in the numerator. We have a 6 cos w and a six, another 6 cos w, so that makes 12 cos w. And then we have a minus cos w sine w and a plus cos w sine w. So since we have a plus and a minus, those two terms can cancel out. And bring down the denominator. And since we don't have any factors on top and bottom that are the same, this would be our final answer. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please leave me a like and share this video with anyone who you think might find it also useful. Thanks.